Comic book characters in their alignments can be confusing at times. In a world where you have vigilantes who work for the law, but outside the law. Or characters who do terrible things, but in a name for the greater good. Or characters who have so many layers of gray to their alignment. Honestly, it can be tough to determine whose alignment is what. Now, as you guys know, I'm a massive Dungeons & Dragons fan. And Dungeons & Dragons utilizes this alignment chart in order to determine the alignment of your character or people within that campaign world. I figured it'd be fun that we take this alignment chart and try to fit some characters into these specific alignments said here. These alignments are determined between a combination of five factors. Lawful, chaotic, good, evil, and neutral. So with that said, let's just get right down to it. And let's start at the top with lawful good. I think Superman is the best example of a lawful good character. He's a person that does good things all the time, works with inside the law, and never goes against the law itself. Superman by nature is not a vigilante because he never actually breaks a law to save people or save the world. And of course, morality-wise, Superman is as good as they come. Another good example, but a bit differently, is Captain America. Another character that is morally good, but not only does he work with inside the law, but he is in fact the law. He represents the United States of America and everything that goes behind it. Next, we have neutral good. And I think neutral good is a good place to put vigilantes like Batman and Spider-Man. Batman is a character who is, of course, a good person who works for the law, however, works outside the law, which is basically what a vigilante is. He's willing to take the law into his own hands, break the law if necessary, in order to save lives. And the same could be said about Spider-Man, although to a lesser degree, because not always is Spider-Man considered a hero in the eyes of authorities. He is, for the most part, considered a vigilante. Someone doing good things and working for the law, but outside of the law itself. On to chaotic good, and typically when I think of chaotic good, I think of freedom fighters, rebels, or people that go against some kind of form of authority or oppression. And no group represents that better than the X-Men. The X-Men are a group of individuals who are discriminated and looked down upon by society itself, as well as the authority that society abides by. They are inherently good people who work to save lives, not only mutant, but also human, but at the same time are fighting against the oppression and unfair treatment that is being put on them. Next, we have Lawful Neutral. Lawful Neutral is inherently a tough one because characters can sway between being good and evil very easily within this category. I think a good example in DC would be Black Adam, who started off as a villain, but he is a ruler of conduct and inherently is a lawful individual within the confines of his kingdom. However, if you mess with him, then, well, shit hits a fan and you become his enemy. Another example from Marvel would be Namor, a character that's played the role of hero and villain, but for the most part is a ruler and he stays out of people's business unless provoked. Unless you're also Wakanda, which he constantly gets in their business. Both Black Adam and Namor can play the role of hero or villain, depending on the story. But for the most part, they stay to themselves within their kingdoms, and they are lawful by nature. So, they fall into that lawful neutral category. On to true neutral. And this is for assholes like Metron, who has no problem working for the new gods of New Genesis, like Highfather, who are good or working for people like Darkseid to build his Mobius chair. And Darkseid's, well, as evil as they come. Metron is a watcher. He likes to see how things unfold, and knowledge is his only real key and desire. But you know who else is a watcher? The Watcher, from Marvel. Another character that should be considered true neutral, his alignment really doesn't matter. He's just there to watch and see how events unfold. Although he has, from time to time, dipped his feet into the pool and helped out one side or another. But from a character who doesn't care about any particular alignment and only cares about knowledge, to a character that doesn't want to get involved in any kind of scenario, these two characters represent pure neutral pretty well. Now we're on to a tough one, chaotic neutral. I think a lot of people can flow in and out of chaotic neutral, very similar to lawful neutral. Catwoman, for example, 
at her core in nature is a chaotic neutral character. She thinks mainly about herself. She steals. She goes outside the law. But at the same time, she doesn't hurt anyone in the process other than the people that she's really stealing from. However, we've also seen in recent times that Catwoman can play the role of a villain like in Gotham War or play the role of a hero like her own title or when she's with Batman. A different kind of chaotic neutral is Swamp Thing who represents nature itself and how nature is indiscriminate. It doesn't care about good or evil and it kind of does what it wants. It, nature is uncontrollable and Swamp Thing represents that despite the fact for the most part he's on the side of angels. And over at Marvel, Deadpool falls into that chaotic neutral category because god damn you can't really tell what Deadpool's gonna do. On one hand he could give you a dollar bill, on the other hand he could stab you in the hand. Next is Lawful Evil and there's a couple of different approaches for Lawful Evil that you can look at. You got people like Lex Luthor, who is an inherently evil person, very self-centered, and although he thinks he's a hero of his own story, he is in fact evil. But he works within the confines of the law, for the most part, there are exceptions, but he works within the confines of the law, or at least outside of the view of the law. Amanda Waller is an example of someone that works for the law, but goddamn, she does terribly evil stuff. Like, Amanda Waller truly believes she's a patriot. She truly believes she's doing the greater good. But the heinous stuff that she does in order to accomplish her missions definitely puts her into that lawful evil category. Then you got people like Null and Darkseid, who are either conquerors or rulers that have some kind of lawful structure to their order, while at the same time oppressing people or taking over people or conquering people. They are, for lack of a better term, dictators. Lawful bad guys. You could also argue other people like Hela or DC's Ares who are fitting the role and doing evil things, but for the purpose of the role itself. But they could also fall into the next category too, which is neutral evil. Doctor Doom is a neutral evil character. You could arguably put him into lawful evil because... Like Black Adam or like Namor, he is a ruler of his own particular um, country. So there is a lawful structure that he imposes on people. But in the grand scheme of the world, he stays relatively neutral um, and works either on the side of angels or on the side of evil. But he is inherently evil. Another good example is, of course, Ra's al Ghul, who is definitely evil. He does terrible things. He thinks it's for the greater good, but he doesn't do it within the confines of the law like someone say Lex or Amanda Waller. He thinks he is above the concept of law. He is in fact a neutral evil character. And really you can put any assassin or mercenary into this category such as Deathstroke, Lady Shiva, or Taskmaster. Characters who can be bought by either side but inherently do bad stuff when bought. Like, a good person or an evil person could hire Deathstroke the Terminator, but Deathstroke is probably going to do an evil thing for that job. And lastly, the easiest one, Chaotic Evil. These are those motherfuckers that do not care at all about anything. There's no rhyme or reason to what they do. They're just evil for the sake of evil. And I think the person in DC that personifies this best is the Joker. Joker's unpredictable. He's evil for the sake of evil. He enjoys it. And he is so chaotic in his nature. And of course, his counterpart, at least alignment-wise, in Marvel, number one daycare person, that would be Carnage. Carnage, just like Joker, is a creature of absolute chaos. He does evil things. He enjoys doing it. And you never know what this guy is going to do next. So yeah, there's some characters that fall into the alignment charts used by Dungeons & Dragons. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you agree with my assessments or would you move some characters around? Please let me know. Comment, Stitch, Duet.